Hello. Sorry, should have blown my nose before unmuting, but hello. Guess what I have as my desktop wallpaper right now. I'll give you a hint. It's a character in this game. As in, in Library of Ruiner. Technically. Sort of. No, as in, no, you won't guess. Okay. Anyone else care to make a guess? I should have people launching the game as well. Hope everyone's doing all right. Hod, Malkuth, good guesses, but no, that's not correct. It is actually uh, Philip Full Angel. Oh, good guess, but no. No, the uh, the correct answer... Uh, Roland? No. No, the correct answer is uh, Ishmael. <laughs> but she's not in this game, Garen. Look, she's on Malchus' team, so therefore she's technically in this game. It cannot be denied. It looks like her, and it is her. Uh, but no, it's uh, fan art of uh, Ishmael. Because there's this brilliant artist I found on Twitter. I'll very quickly see if I can find their name. Uh... Never overlook a technicality. That's cheating. <laughs> I knew people would think it was cheating. But she's in the... Oh, my God. Oh. I didn't mean to do that. Sorry. Sorry, I'm browsing Twitter to try and find the name of this artist. And a friend of mine has posted a photo of spiders. And it gave me a fucking heart attack. So I accidentally muted them. Just instinctively muted them. And it's like, no, I don't want to mute them. <laughs> a friend of mine. Uh, it is Big Dipper 808 at Big Dipper 808 does amazing Ishmael fan art. It's such a like a soft art style. It's really pretty. I highly recommend it. Beautiful work. Anyway. Ishmael is great, but Faust wins over in terms of favourite center from Limbus. I still haven't played Limbus. Like I'm I have it installed and I'm fighting the urge to try it. But I want to wait until I finish Library of Runa and then I'll do a first impressions. Oh, sorry, I also on Twitter. Um, turns out EA have cancelled the Dead Space 2 remake. Okay, well. Fuck games companies, am I right? Okay. Uh, let's crack on, shall we? Oh, mini me. Hello. See, Ishmael. She's here. Look, can't be denied. She's she's here. Right. Hello and welcome back to Gary River versus Library of Ruiner Live, Part Twenty Two. Uh, we have all of the floors. I assume these are all of the floors unlocked, although Binner is currently on strike. Uh, Hokma has two open spaces in his. 
Uh, th were there any other open space cells supposed to fill? I don't believe so. No. Uh, yeah, I see you, Luna. Hello. Uh, um, I have rebuilt Roland again to hopefully try and take down this uh, Snow Queen. Uh, we also have the Mountain of Smiling Bodies, and we have uh, some stuff up here to play with. Uh, I'm feeling a little bit under the weather today, as I usually am these days. That doctor's appointment cannot come soon enough. Uh, my sleep schedule's been messed up, because it always bloody is. Uh, <laughs> so I've only been up for a few hours. But um, hopefully that will not make a difference. Whew. Right. So let's start off as we usually do with an abnormality. Snow Queen. I don't expect to be able to beat this right now. Uh, I've rebuilt Roland to have, um, he's, he's got a singleton build, uh, but I've chucked in some stuff like he's got uh, defensive power and, and blunt power, so stuff like rush down is a really good one for, um, for him in this context. But. Also, I do still have some Slash cards in there, and Slash I know is not effective at all. So the Slash cards are in because they are the best draw effect. Hmm. Alright, let me just have a look at something. What does it say about block dice? Does it say anywhere about block dice? Yes. Deal stagger damage equal to the roll. Um, Alright, they are virtually immune to stagger damage, apart from, presumably, from the, uh, the block, but I'm not certain about that. Okay. So, let's go with... Try and get deer out first. I don't have any counter dice in this deck. God 
Damn. No, fuck this. I, I can't. I don't know. I still need to. Uh, that's that fight just. Oh, it just irritates me so much because you just get hit by so much and you've got to attack at the same time and I just can't do it. So <laughs> that's. Hey Nathan, that one's just pissed me off already. So right, uh, let's just crack on with something else then. <laughs> Um. Yeah, alright, let's do the last row of this one. So this was, um. Uh, Gaze. Kane. This is the Kane office. Uh, 3v3. Hmm. They are. One in Jaws Slash, one in Jaws Blunt, one in Jaws Blunt. So Slash or Pierce. I think I tried Pierce last time and they didn't do very well. Alright, let's take out Dreaming and put in Tetra instead. No, this fight is not a joke, do you? Have you heard about our Lord and Saviour, Angela? Okay. Oh, damn, I've still got to um, retaliate. I thought I meant to fix that. Forgot to fix that. Um, okay, Pierce. Let's go for that one instead. Oh no, put that one in. Oh no, I've already got one of those. I'll put that in. Yeah, I, we could try Luna instead. Uh, for all of the ranged ones, I've replaced the um, smoke break with Guidance of the Gears because that generates light and smoke. Uh, and yeah, it seems just better. All right, let's try again. So let's take you out and put in. Let's take. Yeah, let's try Lunar and Tetra with Netzag. Got to get those daily login bonuses. And Netzag. Four seven five. Everyone's going for Luna. Huh. Why don't you have anything smoke related? That's weird. Thought you did. Anyone else need something smoke related? Because these guys have smoke generating things and yet didn't have puffy broom.
like uh, it's all the smiling faces. Oh, I removed them for the Argalia fight. Why did I do that? I don't remember why I did that. Okay. Alright. Let's try again. Let's try again again. Oh, to give them all to Hod's floor, right, I see. Yeah, I forgot to reverse that. I need to go back and fix that then. Sorry, I, I need to make notes about things I need to do between sessions because I completely forgot that. Uh, right, let's try this. Uh, so you're all getting focused by one enemy each. Tetra. Seven six five. Sadly, you don't have anything else you can play. Uh... I think. Let's focus on him. Nice. Nice. Not nice. Not bad. Ooh, not good. Good work, Tetra. Ooh. He makes lightsaber sounds when he attacks. Okay, that wasn't terrible. Cover stagger, add thrill, reduce stagger. How are we doing? Yeah, they're not doing much health damage, but they're doing a lot of stagger damage, so let's go with laughing powder. Yeah, that's not bad. Okay, Luna. Sadly, that's a really good counter to you. <laughs> and you're going to get 12 stagger damage from that. Tetra. Spend two charge to give one protection to all allies. This scene and next scene. That's annoying. Uh, all right, he's only going to be able to do that once, though. Yeah. 
Yeah, if you bayonet to intercept that one. And then shock round there. Best chance, really. Uh, Netzak seven five. What are your? What's your deal? Game one protection. Okay. Um, script again that's all you can do sadly okay that was a lot of stagger damage you just took oh no this is painful Thrill, Pebble, Recover HP. Mm. Reduce the max stagger resist of the target by five. Yeah, thorns on no, Zack. use most of his light, but restore three light? That's crazy. Uh, okay. Uh, what's your emotional level two? That's pretty good then at this stage. And it's a counter as well, so if we do that first... It's the first thing that's going to hit you. You will have a counter in place for that. Three to seven. Yeah, you're not going to... The counter's going to be uh, beaten by that immediately. Netzak. Refine. Five spear into that. Bring Tetra up. Whereas Luna is taking a thirteen. Yeah, I think Luna's going to stagger. Then again, you could probably shoot your way out of it. Yeah, if you shoot your way out of it against that one. Offensive dice gain plus one power for each ammunition discarded. Uh, so it's going to discard. Three. Yeah, you won't. You won't stagger from that, but then reload against him anyway. And Tetra. You're not emotional level three yet. to restore light by hitting him. Nice work. Nice work. Not nice. No. 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 Damn it. Fucking two of my guys have been staggered in one turn. Oh, this is so bad. Uh, Tetra. Still emotion level two. Inorada. <sighs> Shit. <laughs> oh no. 
Yep. Oh my. This is not going well. Just try and get one frickin' kill. He's almost staggered. He's staggered. Good. Yeah, go flower petals. On Luna, because Luna is the most freaking health left. If target is staggered, deal 8 damage. Recover 8, uh, uses HP by the natural dice roll. Ooh, that could actually be pretty good on Luna now. Target loses light. That's very good. No, I'll go with our galaxy. Alright, Luna. Everybody else, you're going to have to incept. Got one more we can throw here. A three to seven. What's going for you? That one. Three to seven. I mean, you could technically match that. Uh, but I think I'd rather... Nope, can't do that one. Let's go for this one. Nope. Because it's a six speed, you can't you can't do that. Okay, uh, over here then. Hit that one. And give him. Uh, Tetra, I'm trusting you. What are you at? You're at three. Good. Tetra, I'm trusting you to beat the shit out of this guy. I want him dead. I want his whole family dead. And Tetra, shoot him as well. Yes, look at that recovery on Luna. Yes. Yes. Luna's fully restored. And one freaking shot. Sharks with circular chainsaws indeed, Luna. Good work. Well, we have basically recovered now from that terrible round we had. This floor is very good at stagger. So by whittling them all down in stagger, we were able to, yeah, just basically take them out one at a time. Artillery from space. <laughs> uh, emotional turbulence? Might actually do well here. Net Zach, you can beat her up. Focus fire. I mean, it's maybe a bit overkill. But I don't want to take chances here. Alright, uh, throw that on there as well. And nothing I can do there. Oh! 
He staggered though. Wow, look at Martina. We've done it. I didn't think we had this, but we've done it. Good work. No battle symbols. Bada, Nemo, Martina, we got them all. I suppose patent wars are fiercely fought, judging from the way he talked about it. Yeah, all in all, technology is the most reliable means of making money in this city. Patent wars are waged over those technologies, but in truth, neither side really benefits from them. It ends in a Pyrrhic victory at best. If they don't respond well, they might lose their rights to the technology by an imitation, or spend too much time and energy for the win to be worthwhile. At the end of the day, people like the guests we just greeted profit the most from those conflicts. Well, it's entertaining to spectate as long as the trouble isn't yours. I've got a bunch of interesting stories, want to hear them? Save the whole thing for a later time, it sounds like it'll be a long tale. Has Arcor participated in the patent war? Uh, dunno. Don't think I've ever heard any stories about that, at least. Arcorp is always exceptional among private military contractors. What about the singularity of another wing? Has Arcorp tried to get a, a hold of any? I bet every wing thinks the same way about that matter. Few wings use their singularity on its own. Arcorp must be using a singularity or two that doesn't belong to them, you know what I mean? And they've got to pay the owners a fee whenever they use them. If they uncovered the secrets of those singularities owned by other wings, they could save that expense, correct? Spot on. Alright. A new said one. Let's see. There's Scarecrow, Woodsman. So this is going to be... I don't know, I can't think of any others. Lion or Dorothy? The Road Home and Scaredy Cat. Lion, okay. Let's have a look. Wow, okay, that's creepier than I expected. Oh, the Road Home and, it's both of them. I'm stunned on how we're supposed to suppress them. Don't tell me, are they related to the nightmarish duo from before? I don't think I've ever seen them before. It might feel like we're not home anymore, but let's keep calm and get started. A scaredy cat. Courageous is immune to all kinds of damage until the road home dies. Once the road home dies, all resistance is changed to fatal and max HP is reduced. The road home. Let's go together. On the first scene of the battle spawns the home and uses a mass attack page that applies the status yellow brick road to its targets. I mean, she's adorable. You gosh darn wizard. Uh, after the abnormalities attack towards home has been cancelled two times, uses a mass attack, you wicked wizard. The following scene, if a librarian is hit by the attack, the home is spawned and repeats the previous, but this is very complex. If no librarian is damaged, the, uh, the li abnormality becomes staggered. On the second scene, use the combat page Friends Let's Go Home, targeting the home and the librarians with Yellow Brick Road. If, the if it hits home, the battle is lost. So, hang on. Spawns home and uses a mass attack that applies Yellow Brick Road to its targets. After its attack, home has been cancelled twice. Uh, okay. All right, so it's a defensive one you need, it seems. Alright. 
Uh, do you have a mod for sinner librarians or only Ishmael? Uh, it's uh, a mod adding Ishmael's hair and face. And that's it. Because uh, she's she's the one I like. <laughs> Uh, she has no arms. Interesting. Have you read the original book for Wizard of Oz? Oh, hey, cool dog. Welcome. Uh, I... I have not. No, I'm, I'm familiar with the story, but I've not read the, the original book, no. Uh, no realisation today. Hey, Charcoal. Uh, no, we've done them all. We've done all the ones we can. We need to uh, unlock some more things for Tiff to get the next round of them. But we've done uh, all through uh, Netzax. <laughs> it's my most beloved fairy tale, just like Garen hates literary references. I'm a sucker for Alice in Wonderland. It's not that I hate literary references. I feel that they're not creative. Just, oh, there's, oh, there's a thing. Oh, there's home. I didn't even see that there. Yeah, it's I. I just don't find them creative. I think it, you you can do you can do better. People can do better. Uh, are we built? I don't actually know any of us have builds in Chesed's floor. I don't think they do. Exusier doesn't. Yeah, none of them are built, so I'm not ready to fight that. Uh, we can try Mountain of Bodies, because we are built here. I feel like this is going to beat me, though. Prioritizes using Devour on, en on allies, recovers 30 HP. Each time the Admiral Mounty loses more than max HP, transforms back to stage 1. Start of each turn, gain strength. Deal 8 damage to the librarian that hits it. So I think I have to not hit them. I have to just hit this. Oh no, they are hitting me. Never mind. I just have to block these. Not hard to block, but it's more the damage you take by blocking them, I think, is going to be the issue. Mass individual, 4 to 8. Recover HP, re recover HP. Alright, I think I'm going to focus on killing the rot, and then we'll see where we are. Uh, I might need to rebuild Skia so that they don't use um, a bleed build. These aren't attacking anyone. The two at the back aren't fighting. Could be that they don't have enough light here. Yeah. Oops, I forgot to switch um, uh, Ranta's 
things to the new one instead of smoke break. Bloody hell. Yeah, this is going to be problematic. Very problematic. Because uh, Gabura's going to die from bloody uh, thingy before anything else. Die from the, the rot damage. I saw that animation, Roger, that was great. <laughs> Damn, he generated so much health. I mean, we're, we've lost this because we're all fucking almost dead because of the rot. Okay, they've all popped and now he's gone Super Saiyan. Oh god. He's got two strength as well. Summation. Shit, skiers staggered. And skiers immediately died.
Hey, cool dog. Yep, we're we're dying horribly here. We're we're so dead. Staggered and dead. Fuck's sake. There's a mass summation, I didn't notice that. Is staggered and uh, Cyan is dead. Yeah, didn't stand a chance there. Like, uh, we did alright trying to stagger the thing, but we took way too much damage from the rot. So by the time we, like, it had. We have none of the books for Binner's Floor. Ugh. All right. What about... Just give me a minute, guys. So I'm just trying to breathe a bit, guys. My um, my nose is really blocked at the moment, and it, it means I'm I'm sort of really struggling to breathe. Sorry, just give me a sec. Sort of it, it sends my my heart rate up because 
I'm not getting enough oxygen, and then combine that with getting frustrated at losing, and it's like... very draining. It's, it's part of why I struggle to sleep at night. I just... Oh. Oh, stretchy. Alright. This is a three-act one. Let's give this a go. Because this is the one we've accidentally seen. I don't remember it though. This is the one we accidentally saw because I thought it was um, a general reception and then realised afterwards that it, I'd accidentally stumbled on the right combination for a main mainline one. Uh, have we read this one? Uh, a few. Just had a call. It looks like there's huge fights with the index going on outside. The streets are gonna reek of blood, eh? It's not like... It's not just the streets, the entire nest is awash with blood. The hell is the Liu Association up to anyway, poking around an abandoned nest? Index and R Corp are already keeping us swamped. Besides, there's been an awful lot of distortion sightings around here these days. All these feuds took out half my good men. Everyone seems to be looking for clues on the distortion. They must have determined that the library is sitting at the centre of the nest has to be closely related to that phenomenon. <sighs> Sorry guys, I don't think I'm feeling up to it tonight. So I, I, I'm struggling to have the breath to, to read all this stuff at the moment. And it's true that the distortion has been happening here more frequently than any other place. <laughs> Greetings, sir. <laughs> Sit down. As you've said, the Index, the Lu, and R Corp are ransacking this nest. <laughs> it's not just them, we've received reports that the Blue Reverb and the Purple Tear, oh yeah, are also present. I remember that now. <laughs> the Blue Reverberation, you say. <laughs> The one who took our fabric turned out to be working for him. I see. What do you think is attracting the blue reverberation and his gang here? It must be the library. Several well-known individuals and groups fell victim. Oh yeah, now I remember. Now um, they were like threatened and it's like, look, you have to go. You have no choice. Yeah, alright, I'll skip this one then. Dennis. I don't think I actually looked at this. Three acts, two floors. Uh, three successful attacks with melee at a random ammunition. Every time the character exhausts three ammunition at a random ammunition, bloody hell. Gain power for the first scene. PS plus one. Wow, Dennis is powerful. So these three are just using the same things we fought before, whereas he also has Summary Judgment. Discard a card of the lowest cost if your ammunition was discarded. All offensive gain plus one. Okay. Oh, yeah, no, you're right. Yes, thank you for the reminder. Um, Dan was trying to convince them not to go because I reckon he had a pre-script telling him to try and convince them not to go as a reverse psychology. Uh, they endure... Alright, well it looks like um, uh, Netzak's crew are back up again. I 
All right. Oh. Let's get ready before our superiors with even higher authority have to intervene. I'm working on the novel, you know. I like how none of them said anything because they're not allowed to speak because Dennis is higher ranked than them. Okay, Tetra. Alright, you're weak to Pierce, but everybody else is actually kind of protected against Pierce. Dreaming's the only one who's vulnerable to it. Oh, you think they already lost their tongues? Oh, hell, yeah, it could be. <laughs> seven, seven. Seven, seven. Biggin. Yeah, let's focus fire them, see if we can cut that off. Go with emotional turbulence and puppet blockade. Uh, Dennis has very cute shooting sprites. All right, I'll turn off quick mode and see if we can see him. Oh no, he's not actually shooting this round. Never mind. Nice work, Luna. Oh, not good. Oh, not good. Nice Tetra. Damn, we take so much stagger damage. Oh, no. Luna. Ugh, cutest Mafia boss. Oh, he looks pissed. What's he doing then? Still not shooting. Tetra. Uh, you go for it in Arda. Gardens of the Gears, get some light and smoke. They're restoring a load of light. Zach's about to stagger. No. Okay, you didn't. Neither of you staggered. Yeah, if I reduce the max by half, I feel like 
Netzak's immediately gonna stagger. Let's go with Laughing Powder. Sparking Spear and Mend. Luna, Focus Fire. Fucking Focus Fire back. He's probably got ammunition though, so he's probably at an advantage there. Everyone's going for Netzak. No, Luna's staggered and about to die. And Netzak is staggered and dead and about to die. Yeah. Oh no. Oh no, he, he, he won't die because of the, um, the revival. What's it called? So fucked. All right, uh, let's give elation to dreaming. Yeah, this is the first act. <laughs> I don't know how we've got so beaten by these guys. Bye bye. Bye bye. Oh no, he's staggered as well. Shoot. Teardrop on Tetra. <laughs> Go with pleasure. And Tetra is determined to kill this guy off. His dreaming's dead. All 
All right, Dennis is dead. There's nothing I can say anymore. Our galaxy. Covering a load of HP, but stagger damage is gonna kill us, I think. Then again, two of them are staggered. Holy crap, is it. Did Tetra just stagger all three? Wow. That was impressive. However, failed to kill either of them when they were staggered. That was my bad. probably could have beaten this act if I hadn't completely fucked up that thing where they were all staggered. If I'd focused on one instead of splitting my attacks over both, I could have I could have beaten this act. Oh, have a guest and a librarian perish at the same time. Mutually assured destruction. Just got an achievement. Well. Sorry, I won? How did both of them die? Oh, because when Tetra took a certain amount of damage, it dealt damage to them, so it killed all of them. Wow, okay. That was weird. Boris. Reduce incoming damage and stagger by one. Restore light if light is zero. Blunt plus one. On a successful blunt deal to stagger okay well now we're switching to Hod's team because we need our bloody best uh, discipline steel knuckles oh these are these are different ones ferrous guard wow that's powerful draw a card oh nice I think this is the first uh, counter card that's not been a three cost. Dice on this page and the page clashing with it are unaffected by power or ba power gain or loss. This dice is rolled three times. What bollocks is that? Wow, okay. You need to pull your best out, Hod. Of the optics, Chatika. I always misread that line. Every single time I misread that bloody line. They've also all got the smoke stuff, haven't they? <laughs> Whoops. Hey, Melon. 
Uh, we managed to beat the first act of the second round of uh, Thumb by luck, basically. <laughs> I messed it up, but because I gave a certain person a certain um, uh, abnormality card page, they managed it. <laughs> The amount of stagger damage I take these days is, is staggering. His glasses go askew when he gets hit. Axe on hard. So Tali's getting the full brunt of discipline. Staggered. Nice. Ethan got pissed off about being shot. Good work, Tali. Nice hod. Yeah, hit back, Tali. Beat up Boris. Ethan is not looking happy. <sighs> Can you disgorge his innards, please? I think he deserves it.
Hold. Okay, good. One staggered. Yeah. Nope, hold staggered. Shit. Oh. I mean, Ethan did a double kill, but Hod, I think Hod died. Oh no, she is, she's okay. Oh, I really thought Hod had died then. I saw books, but I think it was Boris. It was, it was Boris. Hey, dudes. Okay. I think we're alright then. Oh, that was scary. I mean, you say not much. We beat, um, who did we beat? Uh, Gaze, Kane, Kane office, we beat Kane office. They definitely, they're definitely without tongues. They were silent after Boris died. Good eye. All right, that actually went better than expected. Hod's team is still spectacular. All right, Kalo can use range, speed plus one, gains an additional at emotion three. After three successful blah blah blah. At the start of the scene, give one protection to two allies. Every third offensive dice gains plus one power. Starting with the fourth scene, all offensive dice gain plus one power. Shizels. The fourth scene. So we've got to kill that guy quickly. After taking a lethal blow, bugger. Oh my god, Kalo is tough. And Catriel's here as well. But she's relatively plain. No offense, Kalo. Sorry, Catriel. Lerigol. All allies deal plus two damage. Yikes! Okay, yeah, this is going to be tough. You don't get that old in the city for nothing, I guess. Okay. I mean, Larm didn't take a single... Oh, no! Oh, it reset it, so th that's why Lam was is fully health, because he's starting off at frickin' zero. He hasn't fought yet. Sorry. Shit. Should have I should have selected Tali. Declining was not an option for their offer. Consider it an honor. Oh, bugger. I'm at a disadvantage then.
wait for Hold to get angry. Not bad. Ooh. Nice. Ooh. Oh no! I think I may lose because I forgot to select Tali. I just I, I assumed it would stay selected automatically, but we staggered K, uh, Kalo. So what is this? All offensive dice deal plus two damage for the scene. Yikes. No, Garen's dead. He's revived, but sadly that means he is still alive and he's recovered from his stagger. Yep, he's dead. Alright, well, Kalo is dead. So at least I've got... I've got all of the new things in this. Which means I should be able to beat it next time. And there is a chance I can pull it through here, but it's unlikely. Because there are three of them. But if we focus, we might be able to do it. If I had Tali, I could have done this. Oh, hard! Get some decent bloody cards, please. Pages, please. Dead. 
And Hod is about to stagger. Oh, I forgot I had, um... I forgot I had these. This is a bit of a Hail Mary. But she might be able to stagger all of them with this. She did not. Yeah, I forgot about the Ego cards a bit late. I, sorry, remembered the Ego cards a bit late. If I'd remembered I had an ego card from the beginning of this fight, maybe things would have gone differently. If I'd had Tali, things would have gone differently. <sighs> I can't afford any of these. No, fuck. The one that wasn't being clashed against went first, of course it did. Uh, Hod got Twinkling Analyst. So did Luna, and Tetra got Determined. Damn. Dennis. Boris. Did I not get a Kalo book? Oh, I didn't get a Kalo book or a Catriel book. Burn some books. Okay, we've got Bada, Martina, and Nemo. Um, didn't get all of those, so it's been some more. charge to play with. Got Boris. Oh, we did get Kalo. I must have just missed it. I think someone needs a page of block on Focus Fire. Yeah, Focus Fire was very damaging to me. We got Boris, who has nowhere near as many good things as he had before. Dennis, and Kalo. Steel Knuckles, Ferris Guard. 
discipline. Okay. And that's all of the new stuff. Well, that was tough. Have you tried the Kane office pages yet? Nope, I, I, well, I literally just burned them. I literally just got them here. Hmm. So where would these go well? They're blunt and charge, aren't they? Pierce and blunt. Yes, and blunt, and a little bit of slash. There's these, uh... Yeah. We're getting a lot of mixed ones. We don't have as many, like, pure ones anymore. I think that's... I think the idea is that we have, like, the burn floor, we have the blunt, slash, and pierce floors, and then these ones are supposed to be mixes, I think is the idea. Hey, port. Huh. But we have... Oh, Kalo, Boris, Dennis. So I presume that last one is Catriel. For Hockma. Still nothing for Binner. Nemo, Martina, and Bada. Interesting. They work anywhere, in my opinion. Energy conversion is a staple in any deck that makes even a little charge. Interesting. Hmm. Alright, I actually think I'm going to call it today there, because I'm still not feeling great. Um, but we managed to unlock a load of new things, so that I, I will build decks with those tomorrow. For continuing on Friday. How does that sound? Um... Oh, stretchy. Sorry for calling this one short. I, I didn't expect to be feeling as, as poor as I am today. I mean, it's sort of cleared up. It's, it's basically all dependent on, on how well I can breathe through my nose, because my throat isn't great for breathing, and my nose is terrible for breathing, so overall, breathing is not easy. Uh... Yeah. I really hope it gets fixed when I see a doctor. And it should be this month. That's what I've been told for the last year, that it should be this month. Fingers bloody crossed, am I right? Alright. <clears throat> uh, so I'll be back on Friday to continue. We will... Um, I will try and build some more charge decks, because charge is probably my favourite thing in this. <laughs> charge and... Hod. Hod's, Hod's slash bleed build are my two favourite builds in this game. So I'm looking forward to getting some more charge. Because the issue, like, I want to build more charge. But because only um, Rose is the... She's the only one that is... I mean, to be honest, Rose isn't built around bloody charge, is she? She's just built around bonus damage. Or is it the char... Oh, yeah, Rose, Lesty, and Sen are the only ones who can use Rip Space. Is that it? Hmm. All right, maybe I could do more charge builds then. Yeah, so I might I might start just putting charge around a lot. Because, yeah, that's it's a really fun one. And I love the aesthetic. Anyway, right. Thank you very much for watching. Um, oh, uh, Rose is built around Rip Space. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, I will be back on Friday with a load of new decks. I am, I'm gonna have to look up a guide for Snow Queen because she pisses me off so much. I just can't get my head around it. I reckon we could do better at this one. I'm gonna give that another go next time. Uh, I'm gonna have to build Chesed's things so that he can give it another go. I really need. I want to build these floors properly but I don't feel I really have the range of cards for it, pages for it, pages and attributes. 
So maybe with the new charge stuff. Um, we're unlocking a load of new speed stuff, so that should be good. So if you're watching on Twitch, check out my YouTube. If you're watching on YouTube, check out my Twitch. Either way, check out social media, join the Discord, etc. Um, yeah. Uh, check out my Patreon. Pledges on there make a big difference. And hello, future goodbye future people. Thank you very much for watching, and I will catch you later. Have a good rest of your week. Bye-bye.